here's go. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let's do this. Ahlan bilayla. Ahlan, 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 Imran. So let's see who's going to be the first one on Facebook. I think it will be the one who always comes in online first. Khadija, assalamu alaikum, and Imran, assalamu alaikum. Rawaida, wa alaikum salam, Rawaida. That's new. Alaikum salam. Never seen you before, maybe first time joining. Who's going to be the first one to join us on Facebook? Who's going to be the first one to join on Facebook? Monaz, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. All right. Who's that first one of his late? Wa alaikum salam wa Allah. Okay. Who is that? I see two people, but I don't know who they are on Facebook. Uh, I'm not new. Oh, okay, maybe Rawaida, maybe just me. Muna Muna. Assalamu alaikum, Muna Moon. Muna Moon. Hey, Muna Moon sounds like Mon Amour. Muna Moon. You know, Mon Amour, Mon Amour. I think your husband gave you that name. Mon Amour 1990. Kiko, my man. Assalamu alaikum. Lula, Rob. Assalamu alaikum. And Sawara Karim. Salam. Salam alaikum. Salam. Kiko, alaikum. Salam. Habibullah. Imran. Assalamu alaikum. Nawal. ELM. Assalamu alaikum. Nawal. Yep. This is it. Muhammad Ansari Lubiz. Wa alaikum salam. From Indonesia. People from Indonesia, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I love Indonesians and Malaysians. X Maya. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Alaikum salam. Pink today. No, that's not pink. Kiko, this is not pink. This is purple, man. Uh, yeah, I think you need to do something to your eyes. That people have like, you know, color blind. <laughs> Colorblind. It's not pink, my man. It's purple. Thank you, Amaya. Uh, Indonesia. Oh, I don't see people here. Assalamu alaikum. Facebook. Assalamu alaikum. Say my, send my salam back. Who else? Yes, yes, Kiko. Rosalie. She's here. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all. I like that H1. There is. Peace be upon you all. <laughs> it's like salamu alaikum, but nice, yeah, and with a with a kick. Peace be upon you all. Like uh, it sounds like uh, in the time of the Sahaba. Salam, you know, peace be upon you all. Like the time of Isa alayhi salam. Sheikh, can you ask you a question about? No, no, I don't answer questions about where I get my stuff and dressing and this and that. No, those are my stuff. Imran, alaikum sahmatullah. Halab, habibi, sadaq. Hala, halab, sadaq, habib, hala. Zahida, salamu alaikum. Imran, salamu alaikum. Can we pay tarawih with my family at home? Yeah, well, you have another choice. Do you have another choice? You don't. So you pray at home. Muna said, join. All right, Mun, Munyi, salamu alaikum. Riyadh, my man just joined. Where's everybody else? Where is everybody else? Today is going to be an interesting session. Oh yes, they're all interesting, but we're we're today, inshallah, Taala. Today and tomorrow will be tough, inshallah, because well, I was preparing my stuff and tears, tears, tears. tears. Salam alaikum. Who else? Who else? I don't see people here. I don't understand. I see like, wa alaikum salam, habibi sadiq, halab al habib. Hello, Habibi. Hello, Saadiya Khan. Salam alaikum, Saadiya Khan. Saadiya Khan, alaikum salam. All right. So uh, this is the end of time series. This is session number or episode number twenty. Episode number twenty. Nice, Davi. Salam alaikum. So number twenty and. Um, the the it's, it's it's this is something for self for any of you who just joined us for the very first time this is a, a series where we talked about the what we're covering the minor signs and major signs and then a journey to the hereafter right so far we have reached up to the uh, land of resurrection a little bit before the land of resurrection you know the time where the 
trumpet will be blown onto you know talked a little bit yesterday about that trumpet you know how many blows you know is it one or two or three so but let me just uh uh greet all of you inshallah and then i will give you the start because it gives maybe a, a minute or two for some more people to join walaikum salam sister hanifa hello kobe jazairiya min australia mashallah sumaya kobe sumaya from australia hello akhti sumaya people from algeria they are my people our people khan hafsa salam alaikum khan hafsa and munaya muna muna munaya muna and we have muna muna we have two munas wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ayman aki tell us about allah yes sir absolutely that's what we're here for tell us about allah today you're going to hear a lot about allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but ayman maybe this is the first time you're joining this is a series on the end of time all right so um yes in fact let's start bismillah let bismillah the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said yesterday this is something i mentioned yesterday this hadith reported by imam ahmad in at tirmidhi wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullah and abu dawud narrated by abu sa'id al-khudri that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says I will tell you about my program in Ramadan, inshallah ta'ala, okay? So now I'm starting, but I will tell you my program in Ramadan, yes, daily, 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 inshallah ta'ala, every day. Um, so far, sisters and brothers, those of you who just joined and those of you who have missed, you know, this is today's lecture of episode number 20, lesson number 20. Um, yesterday, yesterday was really emotional, and these upcoming lectures will all be emotional. Uh, yesterday we talked about the blowing of the horn. So, so this is where we are so far. We are on the blowing on the trumpet. When the when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after that very final signs appeared, if you remember, the very final signs were the, uh, when that, um, when this, uh, uh, this, um, a dukhan, that dukhan will come, you know, uh, and will emerge and, and then it will be like for the believers it will be like uh, like a little bit of a cold or a flu but for the non-believers it will it will uh, cause them or cause their bodies to be uh, ample big right and then comes this beautiful wind or breeze that will take the soul of every believer and what would remain as shirad al-khalq what would remain on earth what would remain on earth are only the worst of mankind and upon those the day of judgment would happen so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause three landslides i have mentioned this yesterday i'm just giving you a quick a quick uh, review for those of you who may have missed yesterday's session or the day before and then this uh, breeze as i mentioned will take you know the uh, soul of every believer everyone who believes in la ilaha illallah Right, Muhammad Rasulullah. It will take their soul. So who will remain on earth? Only those worst of mankind. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause three landslides to happen. One landslide from the east and one landslide from the west and one landslide from the Jazeera al-Arab, the Arab Peninsula. And then this huge fire again will erupt from Al-Yemen that will drive people or guide them into their assembly, you know, into the land of assembly. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will order Israfil to blow on the trumpet, right? Then Allah Azza wa Jalla will uh, order Israfil to blow on the trumpet. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, had reported by Imam Ahmad and Tirmidhi and Abu Dawood, uh, narrated by Abu Sa'id Khudri, كَيْفَ أَنْعَمْ وَقَدْ إِلْتَقَمَ صَاحِبُ الْقَرْنِ الْقَرْنَ the Prophet says, how can I be happy? How can I be comfortable when the, the, the angel being appointed to hold or to blow on the trumpet has already, uh, is already holding the trumpet, he's already holding that, that horn and he's about to blow on it. He's just waiting for the command of Allah Azza wa Jal to blow on it. Imagine, he just uh, 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 an, uh, an angel holding that horn and, and about to blow on it. This is from the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu This is not now. This is from the time of the Prophet. This angel is about to blow on that horn. 
You see? So the prophet says, how can I be comfortable? Or how can I be pleased or happy if the angel is about to blow on that horn? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and the day when the blow or the trumpet will be blown onto, فَفَزِعْ so we talked about, you know, there's a discrepancy amongst the scholars with regard to how many blows on the trumpet will be. Some said two and some said three. You know, the one that says two, they combined al-faza' was saq together and then al-ba'th. The first blow is the blow of al-faza' where people will be, will, will, will be frightened, that first blow. And then the second blow is a saq where everybody will die from the those who have remained on earth because the believers have already died because their soul were been taken by that beautiful breeze so they would not have to witness this this horrible horrible you know uh, uh, sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right as soon as that angel will blow on the horn this is where everybody will you know all those who have remained on earth will 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 perish as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, in the Quran, and the day when the, 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 the trumpet will be blown onto, everybody on earth will will will, uh, will 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 tremble. They will tremble, they will they will be frightened. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, Ya ayyuhannas, Ya ayyuhannas, rabbakum, inna zalzalata sa'ati shay'un azim. يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم إن زلزلة زلزلة الساعة شيء عظيم يوم تذهل كل مرضعة عما أرضعت وتضع كل ذات حمل حملها وترى الناس سكارا وما هم بسكارا ولكن عذاب الله شديد O oh, you who believe, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And fear that day when the, when the ard, when the earth will shake. Allah is just talking about that landslides and that shaking of that land. You know, the day when a mom, you know, draw, she, she if she's pregnant, she will abort her baby. A mom who having a, you know, to suck her baby, she will, nobody will care about nobody else that day. As Allah is just talking about this, 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 uh, this uh, sign of the land shake and the, the dying and the uh, of the people so my brothers and sisters i mentioned also what the prophet muhammad وسلم, says he says in hadith the report of imam ahmed and tirmidhi i mentioned this i'm just repeat give you giving you all a quick preview of what was talking talked about yesterday so i can move on inshallah ta'ala the prophet says man arada an yara yawm al qiyamati ka'annahu ra'yain the Prophet Muhammad says, Whosoever wants to uh, uh, see the, the Yawm al Qiyamah as if he's seen it or she's seen it, you know, with the naked eye, as if you've seen it live. Whosoever wants to see the Day of Judgment as if you've seen it live, let him or her read Surah Qawwirat, Surah al Shamm in the Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ba'da'adu billahi mishtar rajim. إذا الشمس كورت وإذا النجوم كدرت وإذا الجبال سيرت وإذا العشار عطلت وإذا الوحوش حشرت وإذا وإذا النفوس زوجت وإذا الموؤودة سئلت بأي ذنب قتلت or you can read Surah Al-Infitar the same thing Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says إذا السماء فطرت وإذا الكواكب تثرت وإذا البحار فجرت وإذا القبور بعثرت علمت نفس ما قدمت وأخرت الله أكبر very very frightening very frightening Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying here when the sun when the sun will lose its light the sun the bright sun the shiny sun will lose its brightness the stars shall fall these beautiful stars that you see on the sky they will fall uh, uh, the mountains shall pass away you will see uh, jibal you know these mountains as if they are running and they will turn into dust they will be leveled with the earth they will be leveled with the earth 
and then the pregnant she camel will not will be ignored the pregnant she camel the pregnant she camel at the time of the sahaba it was something in the in the arabs for the arabs it's something really really precious and even the the pregnant she camel people will not care about and then when and Allah Azza says and when the beasts shall come together even this beast will be will be scared the beast the animals will 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 be will be trembled will be scared and the, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when the souls shall join their bodies Naam. and I will mention a beautiful hadith on this regard about the souls joining their bodies people who died in the air people who died in the sea people who died on the earth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will assemble their souls and the souls will come back into their bodies it's all in the Quran my brothers and sisters and then this is what I left off yesterday and then in Sahihain Bukhari and Muslim Sahihain Bukhari and Muslim the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says between the the two blows the blow of the asaq where people will die and the blow uh, uh of, of al-faza and the blow of the saq and the blow of the of the uh, uh of the bath of resurrection uh, two or three blows depending on the discrepancies amongst uh, al -ilm, you know among the scholars there is an interval of 40. there is an interval of 40 between the first blow and the second blow is an interval of 40. this is what i left off yesterday so my brothers and sisters because before i proceed are you all all right i'm just double checking on all of you are you all fine before this is i've just given you now so far a preview of what i've spoken about previously and now inshallah i'm going to resume but first i want to check on all of you my beloved habibi ali milali just joined me here habibi he's my habibi everybody has habib i have my habib my habibi ali milali has just joined welcome Firdausa, welcome. Rosali, welcome. Layla, good. Everybody's good, inshallah. Everybody's all right. Are you guys doing all right? Light spread. Light spread. Are you okay? Light spread. Uh, Zahida, ready, inshallah, Ta'ala, to move on. How about uh, Facebook? Are you, you guys right? Facebook. Najam Ali. Oh, Najam Ali, he's in town. All right. Bismillah. Bismillah. Yasmin. Bismillah. All right. So I've got the Facebook Facebookian here. And I've got the uh, Instagram even here, Facebook even here, and the Instagram even here. MashaAllah, la quwwata illa billah. Allahumma lak alhamd. The viewers on Facebook, right? You know, the viewers are reaching you know, of, of all the sessions over thousand k views per per. You know, almost alhamdulillah, more than thousand. You know, per session per day. Allahumma lak alhamd. You know, so Allahumma lak alhamd. These sessions are becoming quite widespread. Allahumma lak alhamd. And people are benefiting. I hope, pray that people are benefiting. From from Alhamdulillah. Sister Fat Junaid Hakim wa alaikum salam wa tlabarkatu. Bint Larash, Alhamdulillah, Bint Larash. Sister Fatima Ghani, where are you? Suleiman Habibi, where are you? I love you. Khadija Sheikh 97, good, 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 good. Lula, Alhamdulillah. All right, so you guys are ready, inshallah ta'ala. Yallah, 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 bismillah, bismillah. All right, let's go in, let's start. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu says, between the two blows is 40. So the Sahaba says, Ya Rasulullah, 40, 40 days. Because who's narrating the hadith? Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira is narrating the hadith to the Sahaba. So, um, so the Sahaba are asking Abu Huraira because Abu Huraira heard this hadith from the Prophet Muhammad. And this hadith, as I, report, as I said, is in Bukhari and Muslim, sound. So they said, Abu Huraira, is it 40 days? He said, abate. I said, I, I, I didn't. I refrained. He, he, they said, 40 months. He said, I refrained. They said, 40 years. He said, I refrained. I refrained from what? He says, I refrained from asking the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. Whether it's 40 days, 40 months, 40 hours, 40 years, 40 what? Allahu A'lam. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. So much so that Abu Hurairah, he says, I did not ask Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad says, between the two blows is 40. Arba'un. In Arabi, Arba'un means 40. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will order the angel 
to blow on the horn. ونفخ في الصور فصعق من في السماوات ومن في الأرض إلا من شاء الله ثم نفخ فيه أخرى فإذا هم قيام ينظرون ونفخ في الصور فصعق من في السماوات ومن في الأرض إلا من شاء الله ثم نفخ فيه أخرى فإذا هم قيام ينظرون And the trumpet would be blown onto فصعق people will all die فصعق من في السماوات ومن في الأرض Everybody died Whoever has remained on earth will die and then the, the angel will, will then, then it was blown on it one more time and all of as soon as the second or the third blow happens people are qiyam they all stood up from their graves how did that happen how did that happen i'm just telling you what it's in the quran my brothers and sisters the first blow people died and then after the other blow the second blow people got you know up from their graves what will happen إلا ما شاء الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says except those whom Allah عز وجل wills who are this exclusion because everybody will die except Allah سبحانه says إلا ما شاء الله except those whom Allah عز وجل wills or that they will be exempt who are those that will be exempt some people said angels some people said no it's إسرافيل ميكائيل and جبريل some people said حولعين some people said Hulain will be exempt, they will not die. Some people said Shuhada, martyrs, because martyrs they, they are Ahya, they are, they are uh, alive. Some people said Anbiya, Anbiya prophets. Some people said uh, Musa, Musa, there's a hadith, there's a hadith in the Sahih Bukhari, uh, and Muslim, narrated by Abu Huraira, that the Prophet Muhammad says, Ana awwalu man yufiq. The Prophet says, I'm the first one, I'm the first one to uh, regain consciousness. The Prophet says, I'm the first one to regain consciousness. This hadith is in Bukhari Muslim. And he says, فَإِذَا بِمُوسَى وَهُوَ مُتَعَلِّقٌ بِالْعَصْرِ And then as I gain consciousness, I see Musa, <clears throat> I see Musa holding on the, the, the pillars of the throne of Allah. So, the Prophet says, I don't know. Either did he did he get you know uh, did he get this his consciousness? Did he regain consciousness before me, or is he or is he from those who have been exempted from 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 al faza or from al sayq those who did not die? He says, Allahu a'lam. Allahu a'lam. Even the Prophet does not know. But the Prophet says, I will be the first one to regain consciousness after the blow of the horn on the trumpet. But brothers and sisters. For us, layman, we don't need to know who did not die or who was who was exempt from the from dying. For us, it's not going to benefit us. What's going to benefit us now is to know what's going to happen later on, and this is what I need here, inshallah, this session to be right. Allah would not ask you the question who got exempt from the trumping and from the blowing on the horn. It's just that even the, 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 the ulama, you know, they have the certain discrepancies. Even Prophet Muhammad says, I don't know. You know, I, I was the first one to regain consciousness. And then I saw Musa holding on the throne of Allah Azza wa I don't know whether he gained consciousness before me or he is amongst those that were exempt. So we should not get into arguments or uh, 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 you know about who or not or what now this is not you know it's not a it's not a matter of discrepancies or a matter of arguments that's what i'm trying to say my brothers and sisters but here's what's going to happen listen to this my brothers and sisters and then after 40 after 40 we don't know again is it 40 days 40 months 40 years but the prophet says hadith is it's in sahih muslim allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send a huge rain on earth rain and this rain in this hadith 
it's not like a rain that the rain that we see today here no it's a different type of rain some said it it it, it it's a, it's a rain that looks like uh, that thing that comes out from men in terms you know in at times of intimacy you know some some likeliness to that to that you know that liquid that comes out from men in times of uh, intimacy so that rain will come in that form somehow right after the 40 days allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will order that rain to fall on earth and then this water this liquid will fall on al ajsam on the bodies and then this ajsam my sisters and brothers people will sprout like vegetables allahu akbar who said this hadith in sahih muslim when this rain will fall people will sprout like the like like vegetables you see when you have a seed and you, you know you start watering that seed and then the seeds start growing subhanallah people will sprout like the sprouting of vegetables why when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would want people to regain consciousness he will order israfil one more time to take the horn to take the trumpet and to blow on that trumpet nafkhatul ba'th this is called the nafkhatul ba'th this is the last nafkha this is the last blow of the horn this is the last blow of the trumpet where people will be resurrected up from their graves The Prophet says, كل روح إلى جسده, So that every soul shall come back to its body. So that every soul shall come back to its body. A lot of people sometimes they wonder what's going to happen to people who died, you know, uh, maybe in the air blown up. You know, people who died uh, in the sea. People who died in war, we don't know where they were. You know, they died in war. We could not find their bodies or they had no bodies because they've been blown up, right, in wars. Where are their bodies? Right? People, they ask these types of questions sometimes. They answer and they wonder, right? تُعَادُ الْأَرْوَاحُ إِلَى الْأَجْسَامِ لِتَنْشَقَّ الْأَرْضِ وَيَخْرُجُ كُلُّ إِنْسَانِ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ مِنْ آدَمْ إِلَى آخِرِ إِلَى آخِرِ what the Prophet is saying, and then when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blows on that I mean when Rafir will blow on that horn, and then people will come out. Al Ard will hit will 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 tremble again, the Ard, the earth will split asunder because under are the graves. So the earth will split asunder <coughs> and people will come out from their graves from the the time allah created adam until the last person the the sa'a you know happened on until that last person that allah has you know has uh, when that last person has died from the time of adam until the very very last person people will start coming out from their graves how would that happen listen to this the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says hadith in sahih muslim hadith in sahih muslim he says Allahu Akbar. This is a, this is a miracle. The Prophet is talking to us about a miracle here. Allahu Akbar. The Prophet says the uh, that um, the only thing in man that would not decay is one bone. You see when 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 people die, whether they're blown up or whether they, you know, in a, in a war or in a battlefield or whether they die in a sea or whether they are eaten by beasts or devoured by by uh, uh, animals or they die, you know, uh, in their homes or they die, you know, in in the earth or whatnot. Everything, everything uh, uh, decays except one bone. What is it called in Arabic? Hajb al in English is like that tailbone. That tailbone, sisters and brothers, the tailbone is like Allah uh, Habibi Ayman. That 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 tailbone is as small as a teeny lentil, you know, uh, beans. You know, a lentil, like a piece of lentil. That's how small that tailbone is. This is the only thing that does not decay. The whole body will decay and turn into dust, except the Ajbad Dhanab, except the 
tail bone which is as small as a piece of lentil because the prophet says sallallahu alaihi wasallam that adam was created from it and human beings would be reconstituted from it allahu akbar people will be reconstituted from it so people who would, again one more time whether they blown up and you people could not see their their bodies because they're in war you know or in a plane or in the uh, sea or being eaten by uh beasts or whatnot everything decays except that little you know tail bone because from it adam was created and from it people will be reconstituted again allahu akbar hadith as i mentioned in sahih muslim very authentic and very sound so when this is why I'm saying there's three three blows of the horn. Then when when the the bodies are being reconstituted, you know, uh, uh, from that bone, and the souls will come back to its bodies, then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will order Israfil one more time to blow on the trumpet, so people will be resurrected. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. When again when again the bodies will turn into their shape and the souls join their bodies allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will order israfil alayhi salam one more time to blow on the trumpet and then people will be resurrected again as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ نُفِخَ فِيهِ أُخْرَى One more time, it was blown on it. فَإِذَا هُمْ قِيَامٌ يَنْظُرُونَ And then they are just قِيَامٌ They all stood up and looking around. And they're looking around. Sisters and brothers, listen to this beauty. Listen to this beauty. I'm here to make you all happy. I'm here to make you all have a smile in your face. Listen to this. I know it's scary, but here is the beauty, inshallah ta'ala. And then arwah al-mu'mineen, the souls of the believers will come out like noor. The noor, the believers will come like noor. Wa arwah al-kafirin, dhulmah, and the ruh, the souls of the non-believers will be in like darkness, in form of darkness. But the souls of the believers, you inshallah, and I will come out in a, you know with, with no with no in it like illuminated brightness in it why because it's the soul of the believers allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says as this is all about the souls right allah Azzawajal will order the after the blow of the horn after the blow of the horn and then what will happen right after then the land will shake again because it has to split asunder for people to stand up and to come out allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها What's going on? يومئذ يتذكر الإنس This is another ayah. Allah سبحانه وتعالى mixing up the two swords. سبحان الله. إذا زلزلت الأرض زنزانها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها When this earth will split or will shake and split asunder وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها and the earth will 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 split out you know the the, the its inhabitants because people are all being buried so the earth will split out what's been buried in it. Subhanallah. وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا And then man, man, the insan, the inhabitants that they would say, مَا لَهَا What's going on? What's going on? Why is it shaking? People will be resurrected. It is the day of resurrection. How would people be resurrected, sisters and brothers? They will be resurrected in three forms. Listen to this. They will be resurrected in three forms. They are people عُرَاتًا حُفَاتًا غُرْلًا Allahu Akbar. الله أكبر حفاة غراة حفاة عراة غرلا. The Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم says that people will be resurrected barefooted, naked, uncircumcised. This is for men. Uncircumcised غرلا means uncircumcised. They've just been born now, as if they've just been born. Or they are, because their bodies have just been reconstituted. Right. So. 
uh, this is how people will be resurrected, barefooted, naked, and circumcised. Ghullah. Some people will come out from their graves. Their face will be so illuminated with no, their nose will be as huge, as big as the mountain. Imagine a nur as big as that of a mountain. Some people will come out, will have nur from front them, from behind them, from their right, from their left. They're going out with nur because there's no sun that day. There's no sun. The sun has lost its its rays, if you remember, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. So it's darkness. The believers will come out from their graves on their faces their nose will reach they will be as big as that of a mountain some as as uh, some will have the law from all over you know surrounding them Allah <laughs> Oh Allah, make us from them. Ya Rab, make us amongst them. Ya Rab, make us amongst them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that day you will see the believers, men and women from the believers, nuruhum yas'a bayna wa bi aymanihim. Their nur will surround them. Surround them. Not only that, they will come out, they will be terrified. They will be petrified. But they will have nur surrounding them. And then as they are petrified, they will be given the glad tidings. Bushrakum al yawm. Glad tidings to you today. Jannat and tajri min tahtiha al anhar. Jannat, jannat. So you're scared, you're terrified, but you have nur surrounding you. And then somebody will come to calm you. An angel will come to calm you to tell you. Bushrakum al yawm jannat. Glad tidings to you today. With what? Jannat, one well, not one heaven, heavens running beneath it, rivers flowing beneath it, rivers. May Allah make us amongst them, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Some people will have their nur as big as mountains, some people will have their nur as big as a tree, like a palm tree. Some people will have their nur as big as their as their shadow. Some people will have their nur as big as their finger. Khalas, they can only see this much. But there's still some nur. You see? It all depends on the grade of the people. It's all here in the Iman. It's all about their righteousness and what they have done in this dunya. So some will have the nur as big as the mountain. Some will have the nur as big as a palm tree. Some will have a nur as big as their shadow. Some will have a nur as big as their, their finger. And there are some people, my brothers and sisters, they will be surrounded with darkness. Total, total darkness. يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا انظُرُونَا نَقْتَبِسْ مِنْ نُورِكُمْ انظُرُونَا نَقْتَبِسْ مِنْ نُورِكُمْ قَالُوا The day when the hypocrites, the hypocrites from men and women, they will tell the believers انظُرُونَا نَقْتَبِسْ مِنْ نُورِكُمْ they will call the believers, Ya believers, O believers, Ya mu'mineen, Ya mu'minat, Ya mu'mineen, Ya mu'minat. Please let us borrow some light from you. We're all, all surrounded by darkness. Please let us borrow some, some, some nur from you. Ya believers, Ya mu'mineen, Ya mu'minat. They will be told, go back and get some nur from the back, from there, from behind, because you won't get nothing from us. They will say, they will say the, the hypocrites, 
They will say, Alam nakum ma'akum? Alam nakum ma'akum? Weren't we with you? Don't you remember us? We prayed with you. In the same masjid. Weren't we with you? We, uh, we fasted with you. We even prayed tarawih with you. Don't remember us? But these are hypocrites. Alam nakum ma'akum? They will say, Weren't we with you? Qalu bala. Qalu bala. Yes, you were. But you deviated. Qalu bala. Qalu bala. Walakin fatantum anfusakum. Watarabbastum. Warutabtum. Waghavatkum al-amaniyu. Hatta jaa amullah. Waghavakum billahi al-gharur. Allahu Akbar. Oh Allah, please save us. Ya Rabbil Alameen, save us. Ya Rabbil Alameen, save us. Ya Rabbil Alameen, save us. Yes, you were with us. But you fell into your own trap. Waghavatkum al-amaniyu. You were deceived. By your own traps. Some people, sisters and brothers, will be resurrected like this. They will come out from their grave bleeding. Allahu Akbar. What? Some people will come out from their graves bleeding. But it's a different type of blood. It's a different type of blood. It is the, 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 the color is that of the blood, but the smell is that of musk. Who are they? These are the martyrs. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. They will come out from their graves. They'll be resurrected from their graves, coming along, bleeding, bleeding. It is the color of the blood, but it will be the smell of musk. These are the shuhada. shuhada. Some people will be coming out from their graves saying, لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك May Allah make us amongst them, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Ya Rabbi, make us amongst them. These are the people who died with their ihram on. They died in Mecca with their ihram on, or maybe in Medina with their ihram on. They died with their still their towels on men or women they died when they were saying Allahumma labbaik and they will be resurrected saying labbaik Allahumma labbaik some people will be resurrected and coming along with long necks long necks who are they who are they these are the people who used to call the adhan Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. These are the people who used to call the Adhan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Imagine. Those who used to call the Adan every day, every day, five times a day, even in your own home. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. They will be going, they will be going with everybody saying, Ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And everybody's looking around. What are they saying? Hayya ala salam. 
حي على الصلاة Imagine you are walking around making adhan. Who are these people? These are the people who used to make adhan. They will be resurrected with very, very long necks and making adhan. Allahu Akbar. But there are other people, sisters and brothers, who will be resurrected, wal'iyadu billah, having huge bellies. They can't even see or they can't even walk. Huge bellies. They are they can barely walk. Barely walk. Who are they? These are the people who used to consume riba. These are the people who used to consume riba, usury. And it was one of the minor signs which I have spoken about, sisters and brothers. I spoke it about, you know, I spoke, I have one session talking about, you know, usury and riba and whatnot. You can always go back and watch it. What's going on? The Prophet Muhammad says, يُبْعَثُ كُلُّمْ عَبْدٍ عَلَى مَا مات. Every man shall be resurrected the same way he died. He died making sujood, he will be resurrected in sujood. He died making Adam, he will be resurrected making Adam. He died uh, giving sadaqah, that's how he will be resurrected. He died doing something haram, he will be resurrected with that haram. A man shall be resurrected same way he or she died. May Allah save us all. Aisha, she asked the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, men and women all naked, barefooted. Look, Aisha, what she's thinking. Aisha, she, she's thinking of the chastity. Chastity, Ya Rasulullah. Men and women all together, naked, naked, all being resurrected in that land, all walking, and men and women naked, barefooted, men being un uncircumcised. The Prophet says, Ya Aisha, it's beyond that. Nobody will care about anybody else. Nobody cares about any other, anybody else. When a sakha comes, when that day, when the day of judgment comes, look at how Allah Azza wa describes this. Yawma yafirru al-mar'u min akhi. The man will flee from his brother. He will flee from his father. He will flee from his mom. He will flee from his wife. Wabani from his children. لِكُلِّ مْرِئٍ مِنْهُمْ يَوْمَ إِدٍ شَأْنٌ يُغْنِيهِ Everyone will have enough to him يعني, enough of him to 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 be careless of what's going on around him everyone will have enough everybody will only care about themselves nobody will care about anybody else so haisha she's asking men women the prophet says nobody will care nobody's looking around but people will be resurrected people will be resurrected there's a beautiful hadith I'd like to share with you. There's a beautiful hadith I'd like to share with you. Can I make it a cliffhanger? Or shall I keep on? Shall I carry on? I'm asking you now. It's a beautiful hadith that answers the questions to people who says, how about those who died in the in being you know killed in the air or killed in a in a war, uh, those who died in the sea, those who died here and bodies cannot be found. What's gonna happen to them? This hadith is that so do you want me to share it with you or shall i leave as a, a cliffhanger for tomorrow and sisters and brothers what do you think keep on khadija carry on
Mona carry on. Light spread, carry on. The people of Facebook carry on. Sadia Khan. Connie King Whitey, carry on. Please. Okay, I was looking for please. All right. Let's carry on. Hadith reported by Bukhari and Muslim. So, so it is very authentic. Kana fi ma kana min qablikum, the Prophet وسلم, says to the Sahaba, you know, there will be beautiful cliffhangers trust me you will come back you will come back i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in a very nice cliffhanger okay najam cliffhanger is coming later on no problem but here it is the prophet is saying kana fi ma kana min qablikum, before you in your other time in the, the, the time of ben israel in the time of the children of israel the, so the prophet is talking to them about something that happened you know in a nation you know way before the you know the nation of the muslims Rajulun, a man, asrafa ala nafsi, a man who did so many sins. He committed so many, so many sins. Then before he died, he collected his children and he told them, when I die, burn, he says, burn my, 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 uh, my body, burn my body. And then he says, till I become, you know, coal until I become dust, burn my body, until he turn to dust. And then he says, and then grind it, it becomes gold, and then grind it. And then until it becomes powder. So you have this uh, coal, and then, then ground it, until it becomes powder. And then in a day, you know, like in a stormy day, in a stormy day, split my ashes into three, throw some ashes into the air, Throw some ashes in, uh, split my ashes into two. One half throw it into the air, and one half throw it into the into the sea. Thinking that if he does that, because he committed so many sins, Allah will not get hold of him. Look at this man. This hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. There's so much, you know. This hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim, so it's very authentic. When I die, take my body, burn it until it turns into coal, ground it until it turns into uh, uh, a powder. On a stormy day, split it in two half, throw one half into the air and one half into the sea, thinking that Allah would not get it. Then he died. They did as he would, they were told. And he died. On the day of resurrection, the day I was talking about earlier, just now, on the day of resurrection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the ashes that were thrown into the sea to form themselves. And then Allah uh, ordered the ashes that were thrown into the, into the air to form themselves. And then the body turns itself into this original form. And all Allah had to say is, be, and it is. Be and it is, and then the man stood up in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked or questioned the man, Abdi, ma hamalaka ala hada. Why did you do what you did? Why? What made you ask your children to burn you and do this? Why? Qala khashiyatuka ya Rabbi wa anta ahlam. Allahu akbar. Khashiyatuka ya Rabbi wa anta ahlam. He says, Oh my Lord, because my fear, you know, I fear you, and you know, I fear you so. And I, I did what I did because of my consciousness, because I fear you. The Prophet Muhammad says, فَغَفَرَ اللَّهُ لَهُ وَأَدْخَلَهُ الْجَنَّةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him and made him enter Jannah. Despite all the sins he has committed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him and made him enter Jannah. Allahu Akbar. People now are out from their graves. Then out from their graves, walking. But some would be walking and some would not be walking. What end or what land or what earth? This is a different earth now. This is something totally different now. The day when the earth will change into another earth. This earth is called the land of resurrection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send an angel 
to guide people, to walk them and assemble them into this land called the land of resurrection. وَخَشَعَتِ الْأَصْوَاتِ وَخَشَعَتِ الْأَصْوَاتُ لِلرَّحْمَانِ فَلَا تَسْمَعُ إِلَّا هَمْسَا Allahu Akbar. Sisters and brothers, listen to this. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. وَخَشَعَتِ الْأَصْوَاتِ You will not hear sounds and voices. People get resurrected. There is no sounds. Everybody is scared and terrified. وَخَشَعَتِ الْأَصْوَاتِ يَقُولُ الرَّحْمَ فَلَا تَسْمَعُ إِلَّا هَمْسَا You only hear هَمْسَ هَمْسَ People just walk hems. People will be resurrected in three forms. Three forms. There are some people who will be walking. There are some people who will be riding. And there are some people who will be walking on their faces. Excuse me. Excuse me. Say that again, please, Sheikh. I'm, 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 I'm getting lost here. Yes. People will be resurrected in three forms on that land of resurrection. There are some who will be walking to the land of resurrection. There are some who will be riding, riding, and there will some who will be walking on their faces. How? How? Chef, please explain. How? How? Those who are walking, I understand. Those who are riding, what are they riding? And who they are, by the way? Who they are, those who are riding? What would they be riding? And who are they? Are they riding animals? Are they riding cars? Are they riding uh, flying carpets? What are they riding? And people walking on their faces? How can that happen? People normally walk on feet. But how how person on his face? How? How? Do you smell something happening here? Do you people smell something here? Rosalie? Huh? You, you smell something happening here now? Fadumu Muhammad, you smell something happening, Nora? You smell something happening now? What's going on here? What's going on here? You got it. What's going on here? Cliffhanger! 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 Yes, yes, cliffhanger, right is. Right on. No, no, no. Don't do cliffhanger. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Cliffhanger. Yes, it is, my sisters and brothers. Cliff, this is tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala. I'm going to take you into the land of resurrection, inshallah ta'ala, to talk to you about these three types of people. How would some be walking? How? And how would some be riding? In what way? And what kind of riding? And then those will be walking on their faces. If I want to ride, if I'll be amongst those who will be riding, what can I do today? Today, today, Sheikh, today, today in my life, in dunya, what can I be doing, inshallah, so I can be amongst those who will be riding? I want to be amongst them. I don't walk. Even in, even in here, I don't walk. Even to go to the store, I don't walk. I don't want to walk there. I don't want to walk there. Yeah, I want, I want to ride. I want to ride. How? And what do I need to do now so I can ride with them? And who are those that will be walking on their faces? Who are those that will be walking on their faces? Who are they? Who are they? Cliffhanger, 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 inshallah ta'ala, so that I can see you tomorrow. Junaid Hakim. I'm sorry, Junaid Hakim. I'm really sorry. I have to you. You have been cliffhanged. You have been cliffhanged. May Allah bless you. May Allah reward you. May Allah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wa rasulullah. I feel like I want to do a quick dua, inshallah. A quick dua. Because these are very, very scary, you know, uh, situations you know, uh, that are happening and that will happen. We ask Allah Azza to save us. Allahumma ya rahman rahman yadat quwat mateen. يا رحم الضعفاء والمساكين ارحمنا برحمتك اللهم يا رحمن ارحمنا برحمتك اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم يا رحمن ارحمنا برحمتك اللهم يا رحمن رحمتك اللهم ارحمنا فوق الأرض ارحمنا تحت الأرض وارحمنا يوم العرض اللهم ارحمنا فوق الأرض وارحمنا تحت الأرض ولا تفضحنا يوم العرض يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث وأغثنا يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث وأغثنا هو الله سيف 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 and protect us protect us on earth protect us and save us under the earth and protect us and save us the resurrection يا رب العالمين
Oh, don't, Ya Rabbil Alameen, keep our sins concealed, keep our shortcomings concealed, don't devote our sins and our shortcomings front of the Ibad, front of you the Ibad, front of your mankind, Ya Rabbil Alameen, don't expose us, do not expose our sins and our shortcomings that day where everybody will be gathered and assembled, Ya Rabbil Alameen, have mercy upon us on earth and have mercy upon us inside the earth and have mercy upon us the day of resurrection in the land of al Alameen for us and our children ya rabbil alamin allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidun majid allahumma barik ala muhammad wa ali muhammad kama barakta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim fi al alamin innaka hamidun majid allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad sisters and brothers i just lost the uh, i just lost the uh, the instagrammers so they're here, but um, um, uh, back. they're back now. They're back. All the instagrammers are back. Yes, I was making dua that Allah Azza wa save us, that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala save us, and and don't expose us. Insha'Allah Taala save us. You know, uh, in, in in this time, and and also save us. You know, in the world of the barzakh, the world of the grave, and save us. Insha'Allah Taala that day. You know, on the day of resurrection, I ask Allah Subhanahu to save us all. Will babies and children come out to everybody from the day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam until the end of time, everybody will come out from their graves as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and as the Prophet Muhammad explained in the hadith, my brothers and sisters. Uh, sisters from uh, brothers from Mr. Graham. Yes, tomorrow, same time, inshallah ta'ala, same place. Humaira, thank you for coming. Bint Larash, Bint Larash. Is it, are you Bint Larash? Bint Larash, Bint Larash. Humaira, Toker, thank you, thank you for coming. Lula, thank you, Humaira. Uh, brother Jabbar, uncle, uncle Jabbar, thank you, Zakhlakher, for coming. Thank you, she's she, uh, Shazia, but uh, Yasmin, thank you, Daily Quran, Zakum Lakher, Nimsa Yusuf, uh, and ex Maya, uh, all of you, we know, no, no, that care that day, Maya, nobody will care about anybody else, nobody will care about nobody else, as I mentioned, you know. Uh, what can we do tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll tell you, inshallah, what is done, inshallah, ta'ala. Jamila, Zakallah, khair for coming. Uh, Kiko, Barakallah, thank you for coming. Zakallah, khair, all of you. Uh, who else? Uh, thank you, Najam, Brother Najam Ali, Zakallah, khair for joining. Junaid, Zakallah, khair, Brother Junaid. Wayakum, uh, Wayakum, thank you, Humaira. Khadija, Zakallah, khair, thank you. Wayakum, Wayakum, Zahida, Zakallah, khair. Uh, art official Zaklacha for joining enigmatic thank you for coming and thank you for and uh Nora Al Hantari Barakalafiki these things will be saved on Facebook and on Instagram so go back and, 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 and view it if you have missed anything. What about children that were not born? Children that were not born everybody will be resurrected but the children who are not born if they're not born they're not born some said that ibrahim alayhi salam will be keeping them until 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 uh, until uh, they come and you know and and join their parents in jannah inshallah ta'ala there was a narration that says that you know so but if they were to die in the wombs of their mother they will be resurrected like everybody else from that tailbone i mentioned earlier again kiko assalamualaikum thank you so much everyone amida bigum thank you for coming thank you for joining all of you all right, I will see you tomorrow, inshallah, Facebook.